To set up the two peg test, the first thing you need to do is put two pegs or nails in the ground 60 metres apart. There's no need to use a tape measure for this, piercing is accurate enough. Put a peg in the ground and put a round headed nail in the peg so that the staff has got an accurate point to sit on. Then you're going to pierce 30 metres and put down some kind of temporary marker. Your level kit will do. Then pierce another 30 metres, so 60 in total from your first peg and put another peg in the ground. Again with a round headed nail in. These two pegs are called A and B. You're then going to go back to the middle and set up your level. The first reading you're going to take is a back sight to A, which is 1.653. Now we know the reduced level at A is 10, and we've taken a staff reading, so we can add those together to calculate the height of collimation for that setup which is 11.653. The next reading is a foresight to B, which is 1.406. And because we know the height of collimation, we can subtract the staff reading and that will give us the reduced level at B, which comes out at 10.247. And because you've set up exactly halfway between A and B, that answer is the true reduced level at B in relation to A because any collimation error will be mathematically cancelled out. So now the chain person stays at B and you're going to move with your level so that you're five metres away from B. So walk to B, take five paces back and set up your level. Now your 60 metres is split into five and 55. The first reading for this setup is a back sight to B, which is 1.322. And because we've calculated the reduced level at B as being 10.247 in the previous step, you add that to your back sight to give the height of collimation for this new position. So 10.247 plus 1.322 gives a height of collimation of 11.569. You're then going to take a foresight to A. 1.567. The height of collimation 11.569 minus the foresight 1.567 will give us the calculated reduced level at A which comes out at 10.002. So we can see that our calculated reduced level at A is 10.002 and our starting reduced level at A was 10 and mathematically, if the line of collimation is truly horizontal and we're assuming for the purpose of this exercise that we've eliminated every other source of error, the calculated reduced level should also be 10.000. And we've got a 2 millimetre difference here. So that tells us that the collimation error is 2 millimetres over 55 metres. Now, what you've done so far is only half the two peg test. You've got no way of knowing if you've made any misreadings or other errors. Basically, as it stands, it's unreliable. And to make it reliable, we need to repeat the whole thing again from start to finish. When your second set of results ties in with your first set, only then do you have a reliable answer. So let's repeat that now. Set up at your midpoint. Take a back sight to A, 1.614. Add that onto your reduced level at A of 10, gives a height of collimation of 11.614. Then take a foresight to B, 1.366. Subtract that from your height of collimation. So 11.614 minus 1.366 gives 10.248. Now as a quick check, you can see that agrees with the reduced level at B in your first set of results. 10.247, so you know that everything's okay so far. You're then going to move 5 metres away from B. Take a back sight to B, which is 1.366. 
which is 1.498. Adding that onto your reduced level at B will give you height of collimation, which is 11.746. And finally, a foresight to A, which is 1.742. Subtract that from your height of collimation. 11.746 minus 1.742 gives you your calculated reduced level at B of 10.004. So in this second set of results, you've got a collimation error of 10.004 minus 10.000 which is 4 millimetres over 55 metres. And you're comparing that to your first set of results, 10.004 with a 10.002, and they're 2 millimetres apart. So they're tying closely enough to tell us that we haven't made any gross errors. We're going to take the average of those as our final answer. So for this particular instrument, the collimation error in the level itself is 3 millimetres over 55 metres.